This is the new acquisition for my garage. It's the Goodyear 8-gallon all-free air compressor. It says that it's U1 uh, HP. Uh, the max PSI is 135, 3.7 CFM and 40, and 2.3 at 90. And it's 67 decibel quiet. Also bring this um, kit with the hose and everything. Although I don't like the the hose, the hose is two, it's one quarter or something. Yeah, it's not um, good enough for having a high airflow. So, and it says here that is for impact is occasional, but I want to also try it for a spray gun, a mini one. So let's see how th that goes. And yeah, this is the compressor. So already here the manual, it says that is duty cycle is 50%. So it says do not run the air compressor more than 30 minutes of an hour or could damage the compressor. I think 30 minutes, 50% of an hour. Different parts. Here with the wheels. And this is the hose. It's not a big thing that I like it. So let's put the wheels on it. Okay, and then the handle. It's a little rusty here, but it's okay. This is a close up of the compressor. It has here the specifications and the CFM. That's really important. Some manufacturers doesn't include that or they're trying to hide the CFM of the compressor. And these are the gadgets. They're big and protected. The connector I think is a universal one. This is an industrial fit that I put here. 
and this is a better hose this is the hose that i'm going to use and I, here i have only the the blower this is a 3a uh, hose it doesn't specify here the position this is on or off and also one thing that i realized is that when you're putting the handler this stuff is now well done here and it's going to scratch the finish here on the paint. And once this is exposed, it's going to start rusting there. So I don't know if I have to put some primer or something to prevent anything of that. And then also I was wondering if I can put this handle a little more here back, I can make a hole here to uh, put the handle a little back to save some space here this other specification like the duty cycle and the serial number so pretty good so far i'm going now to do a test for uh the sound level like me speaking and the, then turning on the air compressor to see what is the difference this is nothing technical it's only me talking um, you see here it's around 60 decibels and um, the max is 69 but it's around 60 decibels so let's turn on the compressor now and see how those change <laughs> Basically now it's like uh, 70, so my voice is no longer affecting the meter, just a little bit on the peak here. But you can see here, it's affecting a little bit. So let's turn it up. And you can see here that uh, my voice is speaking 70 dB. So it's, it's quiet. It's not that loud like all compressors. I like that. Now I'm going to run the compressor and see how long it will take until it fill the tank completely. So as you see here, when it's taking uh, at the end of the of reaching the maximum PSI, it's taking more time. Another thing that I was noticing is when it was on the middle of the charge running, it was making a rattle noise. Like really annoying so um, I went ahead and I was having this little rubber pad and I cut a little bit and I put it around this area here and also here in this so it has a rubber part here but this bottom part is um, metallic here and it hit this part that is also metallic and it make a noise like this so uh, with this part, rubber between the two pieces, I fixed that problem. So little improvement to people that have this compressor and experience the same problem. Uh, here's a solution for that. So talking more about why I choose this compressor. I was thinking first on buying the Fortress 10 gallon compressor, as you can see here. But this one was $329. And it has 5.4 CFM 
at 40 psi so that was my main use because i want to connect this hvlp touch up spray gun and it says that it required from 3.2 to 5.6 cfn at 40 psi but as you guys see this one has this provide 3.7 here the fortress like it was uh meeting this mark here but it was 327 dollars this is the other tool that i use is a sander orbital sander and i use in this is my project that i was using it was uh sanding all this finish this is priming this is a cell bolt that has been working i i was using that with that little compressor there is a 1.6 gallon and it was 3 cfm and 40 psi so I, when i was sanding i had to sand and wait until it filled the with air either otherwise i i was able to to sand this one uh, well, I was waiting, I was cleaning water with water and uh, removing all the, the... Because I was wet sanding. I was removing all the particles from the sanding and it, while the compressor was uh, refilling. But it was too loud. That was the main reason that I decided to change another compressor. Then I saw this one and this guy emit my need for this this part i will uh uploading a video after this one to show you guys how this compressor perform in a, a small project like that and i have affiliate links on the description below where you can find this compressor and i'm pretty happy it's not loud like the other one and i think it's going to meet my uh, necessities for project is smaller than this one and uh, i think i can paint like a door also a project like not a car but but yes pro a small project like this i can i can work so uh, this is my review guys and hope you subscribe to the channel so you can see the second part of this video and the evaluation of this compressor and how perform with the this one is a Harbor Frey touch spray gun, touch up spray gun. And I bought this one on eBay. It was like 36 bucks or something. Thank you guys for watching the video. Um, please subscribe to support more content like this. Check my, my other videos for the this little guy that I have here. That's it for today and see you on the next one guys. Thank you for watching.